Previously on the Married to Medicine reunion, Quad, come clean. Do you still have the sex drawer? Hell yeah, I have a sex oh, drawer. Sure. Toya has a two-story <laughs> sex closet. Oh, I'm about to school, y'all. <laughs> Her husband hit on Miss Lucy? Yeah, he did. If Damon won't Miss Lucy, I give up. <laughs> What's up? There he oh, is. Oh, there he is. What's, what the heck? What's going on, man? I mean, the reason I'm here is because she's going to defend her position on being completely innocent, and I'm this cheater, and that's not right. Any man, if he's in a marriage and he's not getting what he wants, is probably going to stray. Well, damn. Did you leave the reunion last year thinking your marriage could be saved? Yeah, I did. Greg, you and Quad are gonna sit down together and talk this out. Part three of the Married to Medicine reunion starts now. and grade. Thanks for joining me here. The two of you haven't spoken since June. No. How does it feel to be face to face? <sighs> Obviously, there's a lot of emotions right now. It's um, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. How about for you? Well, I mean, it's good to see you. You look wonderful. Thank you for the compliment. You look nice, too. Thank you. Quad, what was it like listening to Greg backstage? It's, it's good to hear the pleasantries because it hasn't been like that. You know, there were, there's been, it's been very nasty. Uh, he did a radio interview and was very, I, I, I couldn't even believe that you would go to the radio and, and say some of the things that you said, especially with stating that we hadn't had sex since our, our second year of marriage. She moved out of the bedroom a few years ago. Okay, she never did anything marital. She had severe withdrawal from the marriage as early as 2014. I, I, I enjoy sex, actually. Well, and I remember the last time we had sex. I, I remember it as it well. It was the reunion show where I had on the white suit. Quad, uh, you didn't say much when the women were talking about sex. Do you, do you feel good about your sex life with Greg? Yeah, I, I do, I really do. There was another time after that, one time after that, where we attempted to have sex and the stress was too much, we didn't go through with it. But it's, that is the last is time. Is that when I ran down the stairs crying with my head in my hand and, and couldn't believe that this you was my life? You probably did that, yeah. Yeah, I did, I know I did, you, that okay. did happen. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, at that point, I knew the cheating was real because you couldn't even get an erection. What made you say you knew the cheating why, why, was real? Why couldn't, you, why couldn't you get an erection? I'm your wife. Because, you can't say because, that I'm not because, sexy. Because there's a lot of stress, and because I was working the equivalent of three jobs, you know there were times... But you were able to have sex with other women, Gregory. What are you talking about? You were cheating What's on me. What's your proof on that? What's my proof? Yeah. You, you're going to say I'm not being honest? Yes, you're not. You... Before we get too deep into <laughs> Gregory, this... Gregory, I don't we get have to lie, Gregory. This... You have cheated on me. Let's be honest. Did you cheat on her? No. No. It's, that's not true. Well, let me Why ask do you, you think this. he was sleeping around with I know you during the marriage? You no, did. I know he was. Oh, yeah, you made a mockery of our marriage. You never took it serious at all. You never did, Gregory. Was I taking it seriously when I, when I bought you the house? You said, I don't want to live in this townhouse. I want a house. When I did everything I could do when I wanted to take you on vacations. Even our last, you know, anniversary, you know, we were doing horribly. Horrible. And we hadn't had sex in three years, and I still bought you a very nice gift and tried to spend time with you. And, and I spent it... time with you. I no, invited you, really you on didn't. the trip. You never got I didn't anywhere. Like we were on the trip together. You never got we anywhere. I made that together. gesture, and we didn't even have sex. Okay. All right, guys, hold on. Do either of you have hopes that you could walk out of here with some sort of reconciliation of the relationship, or do you both think that that's over? He's all right. I mean, I'm not dating. He's already dating. I saw my husband last night dancing in the club with another woman in my mother face. I think things have 
gotten You're so bad between the two of us. You're I'm not, not dating? Mm -mm. Okay, you sure about that? I'm positive. Okay. You think otherwise? Well, yeah, that night I saw her at the club, my friends told me that it looked like you were with some guy over there. Well, I was sitting at the table with a lot of people, Gregory. He was sitting right next to you. Well, you were dancing with the woman. No, she was dancing with me. Oh, come well, on. You, that's, Gregory, this that's, is the same, that's the same that's, thing. Uh, Are you going to be that childish still? Well, let's and put it this way. You got to stop this. Let's put it this way. The big picture is I love you, always have, and for some reason, it has never been enough. We've never been able to make you happy. When I wanted to be with you, you never wanted to be with me. When I would call you, you would never answer the phone. All right, we're going to You see how he was? Did you just hang up on He was about to start arguing. You be cutting the phone off, the phone be going in the voicemail. How can I keep calling you, Kwai? Have you ever blocked my number, Kwai? Let me talk to you about Oh, you foolish You were argumentative, you, I, I think you, you both were have, argumentative. I, I, I and think, no one wants I think, to make love to a person I, who's argumentative I, I, and who's rude and negative and nasty and physically abusive. You tore the television off the wall. You took the battery out of my car one time. You drug me through the house. You ruined my knee. Yes, and I still have pain from that. You're it's horrible. Can't hey, forget I'm nobody for you. Of my marriage, and I... You put your hand over my mouth and my nose one time, trying to suffocate me. You got in the car and said, I don't care if I kill the both of us, and you put your foot on the gas. We're not going to play this game, Gregory. Why? This, Gregory? We both we're know not. who the violent person is. You are. Yeah. You are. Okay. You're both accusing each other of physical abuse? I, absolutely, there was. Absolutely. There were times when we got too physical, but I never, never felt good about it. It hurt me to my heart, helped me, hurt me to my soul. I remember in season one that there were... I'm Dr. Simone, and this is my husband, Cecil. To subscribe, click here. For more videos, click here.